Hi crafty friend, it's me Justine Dvorak from Station A by Justine, where when I craft, my world stands still. You might have saw that cute stamp set that I just put on the screen that is called Tea and Coffee Time from Pajama Crafter Stamps. I'm also using the stamp set called Lovely Bouquet. Now this one came out earlier this year, but it is a good pair with my tea card. I pulled out some pattern paper that I've had in my stash for a long time and I pulled out some fluted circles. Those ones are from Spellbinders. They're retired, but you know, a circle die will do if you're going to redo this card. And then I have some fun pattern paper. Now I wanted to add a little more zhuzh to the pattern paper, so I'm going to take that bouquet and give it a little extra fun zip, if you will. So this pattern paper, I have absolutely no idea where it came from. <laughs> I get pattern paper often from either friends or moms at school or ladies at church. I don't know, people give me pattern paper. I've gotten a lot of it over the years and some of it I know where it's from. This I have no clue. But I am sure that you have some pattern paper in your stash that could coordinate. I chose three pieces, the orange there, the ones with the little raindrop looking things and the hearts. None of them to me looked like they were from the same brand, but they all kind of coordinate. So try it out. I'm just going to challenge you to. Here's the lovely bouquet stamp. I'm just going to give a little bit of texture to this pattern paper and take it from the pattern paper and give it a little floral effect. That was with some Simon Hurley ink called Slippery When Wet. I love Simon Hurley's inks and I do pull for them often. I would love to try coloring with them. That is on my bucket list before the end of the year. Do you have a bucket list for 2024? I, I do, and that's on there. <laughs> okay, that might be so weird to some people, but <laughs> you got it now. Now I'm going to secure, oh hello, truck outside. I'm going to secure this to my background paper. You saw I was savvy and I die cut out my blue circle with my background paper because when the card is put together, no one will see that gaping hole, which is perfect because when you're trying to use up what you got and use your stash, you can take things out of that center and no one will ever know and then you don't have to waste any paper. The back of this pattern paper is really cool too. I love those little dots. So I don't know. I just I love pattern paper but you can't hoard it because I hoard it and I'm sick of hoarding it. I gotta use it. It's so pretty. I love it and I end up loving this card. So I'm gonna glue on this these cute little pink hearts on this circle and then we're going to get to coloring the adorable stamp, which is the teacup and the tea bag. But I just wanted to make sure everything kind of fit. And then the stamp, oh, the sentiments are so cool. I love this one is my absolute favorite because it says, let's party. What does it say? It's your birthday time to party. And I am a 90s baby, so I used to say party. <laughs> but party is where I'm at now in my life and I do drink tea a lot so this worked out. I think I have a person in mind who this card is going to and anytime that happens I, I love making the card. It feels extra special. So I will just add some white embossing powder to this one. Very basic but I love the way white embossing powder looks on colored cardstock. I think that it is just chef's kiss perfect. So I'll heat this up. I'm going to use a low setting because this blue cardstock that I stamped on is thinner. It is cardstock, but to me, I didn't want it to warp too much. You saw it did warp just a little, but when I glue it down, it will be fine. So pretty. I don't know why, but every time I've finished doing some stamping and embossing. I just want to touch it immediately after. I think it's because my love of the better press and feeling the texture, but I'm such a texture person that I always have to feel it, but I have smeared things before, so don't be impatient like me and just wait. <laughs> I 
I'm going to put this sentiment on more of that heart pattern paper as a little bit of a coordinating moment. So we'll just secure that in the corner. I like to use this way, this method, if you will, for putting on sentiments because now I only have to cut two sides instead of cutting four. Lazy girl hack, just saying. I'll pop this in my mini trimmer. This one is from Tim Holtz. This is what I like to use for trimming smaller pieces of paper because it is just a very small little guard on that clear, that clear piece is small and it is so much easier to cut, in my opinion. Pajama Crafter Stamps did have four new stamp sets that came out this release, so they are all really cool. I would highly recommend you check them out. I will have a link to the new products in the description of this video, but I also will have the tea set. So I'm going to use the pattern paper as my color guide, if you will, for coloring. I'm going to start with my darkest color, but all of a sudden I had this thought of, wait a minute, let's put the stamps, the hearts, on the card, on the teacup. So I'm going to do that first. But back to what I was saying, I used the pattern paper to kind of guide my Copic color selection. My Copics, I'm lacking in pink tones, so I wasn't perfectly coordinating with the pinks, but the blue to me really worked with this pattern paper. It just kind of happened to be that way. Let's get up really close when we're coloring here and you can see even better. So this is B45 and I'm just putting this on the edges of the cup or where it would be darker. So on the bottom where it kind of comes in and then under the lip area. And then I'm going to put that all around the card, all around the cup, sorry. <laughs> and I actually put the blue, the light blue inside the cup. And looking back at that, I thought maybe there should be tea in there, but I don't always fill my tea all the way up to the top. So to me, it was kind of like the inside of the cup. I don't know. I think that I might do another one with the tea in the cup and maybe have it be light brown in there, but... That's the best part about stamping. You can try something on one project and try something else on another. Now I'm using B41 here and you can see it is blending so nicely because I used the Pajama Crafter paper. This is the cardstock that is perfect for foiling and for Copic coloring. It's the cardstock marshmallow coloring paper. I did a whole video on my channel about how I use my scan and cut. So you can see on that video, I actually cut this out on that video, but I stamped a whole bunch of things on that awesome paper and then die cut them all out in just a few minutes. And now I have all these little images that are die cut out and ready to go for me for projects like this. So I definitely enjoy using that scan and cut, and I absolutely love this marshmallow paper. It is so perfect for Copic coloring, and it gets a great blend. Now for the tea bag, I chose to use that RV34 for the tag of the tea bag. Can you hear my Minnesota accent? <laughs> tag bag. Anyway, <laughs> and then for the actual tea, I'm going to use E35. To me, that's usually darker. And then the bag itself is going to be a lighter brown. Give a little shadow. Why not? E31 is going to be that kind of a shadowy, tea-stained bag color. Say that five times fast. And a little bit of a blend moment there. All right, let's assemble this little lady. I think that my grandma would have loved this card, but she is not with with us anymore, so I cannot give this to her, but this definitely reminded me of her. I thought about putting white around the border, but I think that would have been too much on the eye. I didn't want to overwhelm the card, so I thought enough is enough, let's assemble. 
maybe you can relate, but sometimes I get into the more is more in my brain and I just have to kind of edit myself a little bit back. But I do end up using some gorgeous embellishments on this card, so stay tuned. <laughs> Sounds so silly to say stay tuned, but here we are. <laughs> I'm going to pop some foam on the back of my stamped image because I love popping up things on my cards. I think the dimension is so helpful and it makes it look even more exciting. Even before I got into card making, whenever I bought a card at the store, I love the Hallmark store, but obviously I'm not buying Hallmark cards anymore because I can make my own. But when I was going to buy cards at the store, I always would choose the ones that had dimension or some kind of a bling. That's always been something I've been drawn to. So, of course, when I'm making my own cards, I'm going to use dimension and bling, or sparkle, if you will. A little bit in the middle for support, and we are good to go. I love those reverse tweezers. They always help me make everything straight, and I don't know what I would do without them. All right, let's get this little lady onto a card base. I have several that I have pre-made on my side. Let me know in the comments, do you like the side folding or the top folding cards better? I like prepping the side folding ones better, but I like to use the top folding ones more, but I don't do them as often just because I don't think about it when I'm prepping. But I don't know, I think I do like the top folding a little bit better. So I'll just pop that onto my card base. I'll just make sure that everything is straight. There's a little bit of extra on this one, so I just gave it a quick trim. I always line it up with the spine of the card push down and let it fall into place. To me, I usually don't have as many mistakes that way. Now I'm gonna use these gorgeous, scent gorgeous embellishments from Trinity Stamps. These ones are flat and they look perfect with my pink pattern paper there and it matches the heart color. It's all a very matchy matchy card, which is very my style. But these embellishments are, I think, the finishing touch on this one. I think my favorite embellishments from Pajama Crafter stamps are the ones that are called a girl's best friend. They look like diamonds, I'm telling you. They are so pretty. And I'm going to use them on my card that I'm going to be putting up very soon using the stamp set that has the playing cards on it and doing a little poker card. Now, at the last minute, I thought, let's add something to the inside of this card, and I actually ended up getting a phone call during filming this, so I don't know why, but maybe that's why. <laughs> this is really low on the screen, so I'm so sorry, but I stamped your t -rific, which is, again, another fun sentiment from this set. There it is, and then I picked the little hearts up again and grabbed that yellow Slippery When Wet stamp pad ink pad and did a couple hearts on the side so again I'm sorry that it's stamping off camera <sighs> such is life you know <laughs> but I thought that just three of those little sets was enough there we go a very quick look but this finishes off my card let me know in the comments what you think about this one and which stamp set are you going to grab from the latest release from pajama crafter stamps Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.